Happy Tuesday, Rocketeers. How are you doing? So today, this week, we are going to learn about shapes. We are going to be learning about shapes, all sorts of different shapes, and how to tell which shapes are which. So Rocketeers, we're going to be learning about shapes. But before we learn about shapes, we need to learn about defining attributes. Say it with me. Defining attributes. Do it with me now. Defining attributes. Say it with me one more time. Defining attributes. Do it with me one more time. Defining attributes. All right, Rocketeers. Defining attributes are basically things that are always. I'm going to underline always. true about a shape so defining I'm gonna do hold on right there so defining attributes do it with me defining attributes are things that are always true about a shape so defining attributes are things that are always true about a shape. Rocketeers, in ASL, is sign language, this is how you say true. True. All right, so some defining attributes of shapes are sides. Shapes have sides. And shapes also have vertices. Vertices. So, some defining attributes are sides, sides, do it with me, sides, and vertices, vertices, vertices. And Rocketeers, you may be asking, what is a vertice? Rocketeer, a vertices, vertices are corners. Vertices are corners. So we're learning about sides and vertices. These are defining attributes of shapes. The first shape we are going to learn about is a triangle. All right, the first shape we are going to learn is a triangle. So one defining attribute of a triangle is it has three sides. A triangle has Yes, a triangle has three sides. So one, two, three. A triangle has three sides. Vertices. How many vertices does a triangle have? Remember, Rocketeers, vertices are corners. Can you tell me how many corners are, are in a triangle? You? Can you tell me? That's right. Three. Three corners. One, two, three. So a triangle has three vertices. Okay, Rocketeers? So we're learning about shapes. We're learning about defi defining attributes. Defining attributes. Defining attributes are things that are always true about a shape. So a triangle always has three sides. A triangle always has three vertices. Okay, Rocketeers? Triangles can be crooked, huge, small, or big or small, or right angles and equal triangles with equal sides, or one side's bigger than the other. As long as it has three sides or three vertices, three sides and three vertices, it's a triangle. All right, I'll show you what we're going to do in our activity today. So, for your activity today, on your paper, you're going to write and draw a triangle on top of your paper. Then, just for us to get familiar with the definition, we're going to write defining attributes. Defining attributes. Oops, this one made a mistake. Let's erase that. Defining attributes. There we go. 
So remember, our definition for defining attributes, remember? Defining attributes are things that are always, always true, always true of shapes. So on your paper, on your paper, you're going to have the title, triangle. Then you're going to write the words, the words defining attributes. You're going to write things that are always true of shapes. Okay? And we're going to have, you're going to draw a triangle here. Let me pick another color. You're going to pick, you're going to draw a triangle. All right, you're going to draw a triangle, and we know that some attributes of a triangle are it has three sides, and it also has three, three what? Three, three vertices, three vertices. And Rocketeers, on your paper now, you're going to try to draw items or things that are shaped like a triangle. Um, I know a kite. I'm going to draw a kite. Some kites. Some kites. Some kites are. I'm going to do. All right, a kite. So a kite is a triangle. Another triangle we have is a, oh, Santa's hat. Santa's hat is shaped like a triangle. And another thing that's shaped like a triangle is a ramp. What is a ramp? You know, a ramp is one of those things or skateboarders and people who ride their bikes. They ride their bikes and then they jump. Zoom! All right, so three things that I can think of that are shaped like a triangle are a kite, Santa's hat, and a ramp. Remember, Rocketeers, a triangle has three sides. One, two, three. A triangle also has three vertices. Three corners. One, two, three. So Rocketeers, a triangle doesn't always have to have three equal sides. It could have one really big side and a small side and a medium sized side. Or it can have two equal sides and then one side. All right, Rocketeers, as long as your triangle has three sides or three vertices, it is a triangle. So Rocketeers, I want you, we're going to have a contest. I want to see which Rocketeer can come up with as many things as possible that they can think of in their brain or find around their home that is shaped like a triangle. If you, if you can figure out as much as you can, write all this down on your paper, and I'm going to see who has the most triangles on their paper. So let me recap. On top of your paper, you're going to write triangle. You're going to write the definition. Defining attributes, things that are always true of shapes. You're going to have a triangle, and then you're going to write defining attributes of a triangle are three sides, three vertices, and you're going to draw as, as many triangle objects as you can. All right, Rocketeers, let's see who has the most. Mr. Wynn has three. Let's see who can have five or ten or twenty. Ooh, if you get twenty, ooh. All right, see you later, Rocketeers. Peace.